Hey, you're watching This Brown Geek. Today we're talking about something that has already changed the world and most people didn't even notice. And that thing is artificial intelligence. More specifically, the AI model called ChatGPT. ChatGPT? The ChatGPT chatbot. ChatGPT. ChatGPT. So ChatGPT. And ChatGPT. 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 It's a ChatGPT chatgpt we made a video online chatgpt chat gpt chat gpt chat gpt So, you've probably already heard about ChatGPT all over the place recently. Perhaps you've even seen tons of content creators on YouTube making videos about it. You might have even seen them talking about it on the news. I've been using it for a few weeks now and it has absolutely blown my mind. But what the hell is ChatGPT? Well, stick around to find out and I'll even show you a live demo of what you can actually do with this thing. ChatGPT is a game changer. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. It's not just a simple chatbot. I mean, we're not talking about Ask Jeeves or even Siri or Google at this point. It's a full-fledged language model that can understand, generate and improvise human-like text. This technology is being used by some of the biggest companies in the world right now, including Microsoft, who invested $10 billion into OpenAI for ChatGPT. Rumor has it that they will soon incorporate ChatGPT into Bing searches, which would help Microsoft compete more against Google on search and would even sway many people to use Bing instead of Google. I'm telling you now, if Microsoft builds ChatGPT into Bing search, I'm likely going to stop using Google myself. Now, you might be wondering, how is this different from other AI models out there? Well, ChatGPT is trained on a massive amount of data and it can generate text that is so good, it's often hard to tell the difference between what it writes and what a human writes. But here's the thing, it's only been trained until the year 2021, so it's not even using real-time information yet. Once it's allowed to reference real-time information, it's going to be even more intelligent than it is now. The applications of this technology are endless. It's being used in everything from customer service chatbots to writing news articles. It's making our lives easier and more efficient. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. As ChatGPT continues to evolve and improve, the impact it will have on our lives will only continue to grow. And you know what? Let's just jump into it for a second so I can show you what I'm talking about. Right, so this is ChatGPT. You can find it at chat.openai.com. You log in with like a Google account or whatever. You sign up and it brings you to this screen. And this way you type anything that you want and I'll show you the type of things that you can do right now. And we can take a look at what it does. This is really cool. Right, so I'm gonna say, write me a 400 word essay about Henry VIII and how he had his wife killed. Write it in casual English, make it fun and entertaining. Feel free to throw in a joke. So we send that off to ChatGPT and we wait a second. Sometimes the servers get hammered, so it takes like 30 seconds to start typing. And there you go. Okay, now as you can see, it's still typing and it goes on a bit and it will keep going until it finishes your essay for you. This is why educational institutions are in panic mode right now because you can get ChatGPT to write any essay for you and it will pass all plagiarism checks because it is in fact original content because you can prompt it to write it in whatever language you want or what kind of level you want it to write at or what you want it to include or if you want it to throw in jokes or anything. It's insane and we'll pass those checks and that's why the education industry is in a bit of a meltdown right now because of this. Now let's move on to the next thing. Right, so to start a new chat, you just click new chat here on the top left and that starts a whole new chat. You wanna do that every time you wanna change the topic because ChatGPT is very conversational. You can ask it something and then ask it to elaborate or ask it to change something and it recognizes everything that you've said already. So it references the conversation so far to give you results based on everything that you've said up to that point. So if you wanna to change topics, always start a new chat. So for this one, uh, you can do something really cool like let's say that you run an estate agent and you have your surveyor go out on site and they give you bullet points for this property and you want to write a summary of the property using those bullet points and you want it to sound really cool and you want to put it on your website to sell this house so one thing that we can do is we can go to um, a website here in the uk called right move okay so we've got those bullet points from right move i'm going to say i am an estate agent and i need to sell a property please write a summary for my website using the following bullet points. Uh, formatting's all off because I copied it from right move, but that's not the point. Let's just enter that and see what happens. There you go. 
How cool is that? Discover luxury living in the stunning penthouse located in a warehouse building. Enjoy the unique character of vaulted ceilings and the convenience of a dedicated concierge service. Relax knowing your vehicle is securely parked with secure parking included. Experience the ultimate in urban living with this breathtaking duplex. From those bullet points and, and then you can say Can you elaborate and add that it costs 1.1 million? And now here we go, it's rewriting it and it's going to include that it costs 1.1 million pounds. Oh, and because I said, can you elaborate, it's made it longer. Don't miss out on a once in a lifetime opportunity to own a piece of luxury in the heart of the city. It's insane. You can use this for so many different things. Let's move on to the next one. So let's start a new chat. Now let's say that you're a programmer. This thing can write Python code. You can give it your Python code and say, there's a problem with my code. Can you find it and tell me how to fix it? If you don't know how to write Python code, you can get it to teach you. If you have a smart home and you're familiar with home, assistant then you know that you could in yaml so let's say that um can you write me a yaml code for my smart home i want to turn the living no i want to turn the hallway light on at sunset and off at sunrise check this out watch this Sure, here's a sample YAML code you can use for your smart home. And there you go. Turn on hallway light at sunset. This is actual YAML code. And if you put this into your home assistant, this code will work. And if it doesn't work, you just tell it what area you're getting. And it'll say, oh, sorry. And then it'll correct it and give you a new code. It's, it's absolutely insane. Okay, now next up, let's say that you want a summary about a book. Um, I've been meaning to read this book for ages now. And my friend who's probably watching this video is going to be annoyed that I haven't read it yet. <laughs> So let's say, let's just say that. Please write me a summary of the book for our work week. And it gives you a concise summary of the book. Let me give you another example if these weren't enough. Write me a poem about Elon Musk and him being the master of Twitter. So he'll write you a poem. Elon Musk, a man with a plan, a visionary who's changing the land. And it goes on and on and on. Please rewrite that in the style of Shakespeare. Oh, Elon Musk, a man most wise and grand, a visionary who doth alter this fair land. And then it goes on in the style of Shakespeare. Uh, let me give you another one. Let's say that you're studying for um, a topic or a subject or something and you want it to test you, right? I'm studying for my physics exam. Uh, I'm going to say high school level. Please, can you give me a list of 10 questions with multiple choice answers? So here we go. Here are 10 physics questions at the high school level with multiple choice answers. What is the formula for calculating acceleration? And then it gives you all the options. Oh, and it gives you the answers. You can also tell it not to give you the answers. And then you can say, is the answer to question one A or D or B or C or whatever. And they'll say, yes, that's the answer. Let's say that you need to write a speech. The company is called British Telefonica. Uh, the speech needs to be inspiring and entertaining. Throw in a joke or two. Okay, so you want to write a speech? Just to get chat GPT to do it. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to British Telefonica. I'm thrilled to have you all joining us as apprentices and starting your journey with our company. Do you see my point now? Like this is this is just something else. Uh, you know what? Just for the fun of it, let's let's say I am opening a vegan burger restaurant. Please write a cool slogan for my business. This is just off the top of my head. Plant-based bites, limitless flavor. That's pretty good. Another. Go green, grab a vegan burger dream. <laughs> this is so cool. Last one and then we'll move on. Uh, write me a tweet about how awesome artificial intelligence is. AI is revolutionizing the world. With this ability to analyze data, make predictions, and automate tasks, it's changing the way we live and work. The future is looking brighter every day with AI leading the charge. Hashtag artificial intelligence. Hashtag tech. Hashtag innovation. So let's get this tweet. Copy it. Go to Twitter. This is my Twitter. Paste tweet. And there it goes. Now you can see that tweet on my Twitter right here at this brand geek. So go follow me on Twitter. You see how awesome ChatGPT is now? I mean, come on. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is game changing. No, this is world changing. And like I said at the start of the video, most people haven't even realized it yet. It reminds me of the industrial revolution and how it brought about a technological revolution in the 18th and 19th century, which led to new ways of mass production, transportation, and communication. Similarly, ChatGPT is bringing about a technological revolution in the 21st century, which is leading to new ways of processing and understanding information. It's also allowing us to communicate with machines in a more natural way. It's very conversational, as you just saw, and it's making our lives way more efficient. The ability to process and understand language at a level that was once thought impossible is opening up a world of possibilities and opportunities. People are already 
creating whole new businesses using ChatGPT as their foundation. Well, not only their foundation, they're also using it as the tool to create products that they sell to their customers. ChatGPT is the business. The potential for ChatGPT to revolutionize industries such as healthcare, education, customer service, well, pretty much anything is insane. And speaking of new possibilities, have you heard about Neuralink? It's the company founded by Elon Musk, of course, that aims to connect human brains directly to computers. Imagine being able to reference ChatGPT via your thoughts, making the human race extremely smart and capable to compete with artificial intelligence. This technology combined with an AI like ChatGPT has the potential to change the way we interact and process information. It can enhance our lives and cognitive abilities and allow us to access information at lightning fast speeds. The possibilities are truly endless and it's exciting to think about the future with this technology. And I'll be honest, a little daunting too. I know some of you might be thinking, what if the AI becomes too advanced and takes over the world, like in the Terminator movie? Don't worry, we're not there yet. I'll be and I'm pretty sure Skynet isn't gonna happen yet. But it is important to think about the ethical implications of this technology and how it's used. We are at the beginning and nobody really knows how much this will change the world. But if you ask me, it changes everything. This year, a new version of ChatGPT is going to be released and it's going to be even more incredible. It will have the ability to process and understand information at an even higher level and the applications of this technology will become even more widespread. So that's it for today's video. I hope this video was informative and really demonstrated how ChatGPT has already changed the world and how it will continue to change the world just like the Industrial Revolution did. Let me know what you think about ChatGPT and how you think it will change the world in the comments below. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. You've been watching This Brown Geek, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!